So here we look at how we can use chat GPT to write resume and cover letters. This is useful because you can use chat GPT for summaries, essays, make things more easy for you. So let's just come to a new chat and then let's just type something like um, write a resume for political political science major student or maybe say with one year experience okay and it will just come in and write something for you like the name the objectives the education and then it gives you like sample and then um research a role like research assistant and it puts stuff in here for you and then skills put that in now what happens is this is too generic um you can actually make it more specific so let's try something So you can add more then you can just say write a resume for me and hit enter so here you've added some more value you've added some more information so it's gonna pick that information and write sample resume so you see now the name has been changed and it adds the phd for you then it gives you um an objective to obtain a position in mechanical engineering utilizing my strong technical skills and experience in product development and semiconductor engineering then it talks about the phd at mit so you see you can you could have added a graduation date or the range um masters in purdue and then bachelor's in georgetown and then it comes to the experience it picks the apple and then it takes for a role as a product development engineer it gives you some of the responsibilities but also you can feed it because this is a model that the the more you feed it the better it is right then it talks about intel it gives you what it does then this is the um, programming the the skills that i put in then you can also add more um sections like add a pattern so let's say So with this info, it's just going to rewrite the resume and add in this to it for you. So you see something like internship at Meta, and then I'll add that you have patent, you have um, research papers. So this is very useful. The more information you feed it, the better it gets. So that is why I really like this. Um, we can really use this. So see now it adds the software in turn to it for you and then it talks about professional accomplishment it says now you have three patents um and then you have five published research papers and you can feed this accordingly once you're done for the cover letter side you can just say write a cover letter for me applying or you you could have just you see it's like a chat box so you can say i am applying to a role at applied materials for uh or to be a research scientist write a re write a cover letter for me and enter and here it tries to write sample one so it starts by talking about a role the company and then the highlights so i have a phd 
and I work as product development, semiconductor, software engineer. Then it talks about your current role at Apple, what you did, talks about internship, talks about your career, your previous role. Then it even talks about like the patterns that you have, the peer reviewed papers, and then it gives the conclusion and there you go. And you can come in and regenerate so if you regenerate the first one, if you click this arrow, it goes to the first one. And then if you come back here, it comes to the second. So it's just rewriting it, giving it a different perspective to the writings. And you can also do same for the, the resume. You can also regenerate and, and just customize it. So even with this one, the more information you give it, the better, the more guidance you give it, it wouldn't look more generic, but it, you can actually use it for any of your essays and also use it accordingly for your cover letters and resumes.